Welcome to our review on turning forces. First thing we're going to consider then is how forces cause rotation. So we need to know a couple of terms first of all. Pivot is the point around which our forces act to produce these turning effects and a moment is the turning effect of a force. So when we're talking about moments they can be either clockwise or anti-clockwise. So when we come to actually calculate the moment, then it's going to depend upon the size of the force and the distance from the force to the pivot. So what we actually have as the calculation that we need to carry out is the moment of a force is force times distance. Now, this is an equation again that you are going to have to learn and recall in your exam. One thing to remember when we're looking at this the direction of the force and the distance measured are at 90 degrees to each other. So when we have a look at the diagram in the left hand corner there, we can see that the hand is pushing the door there and it's got to be at 90 degrees as the distance. So it's not the 0.8 because that's not at 90 degrees, it's the 0.7 meters is our distance because that is at 90 degrees to the force. So we can use this idea of moments in the principle of moments. Now, if we actually have a little seesaw, as I've given you there, we can get to a point where it's balanced. And what we find there is that if the anti-clockwise moment is equal to the clockwise moment, then we've got it balanced. And that's what the principle of moments is, that the force times the distance on one side of the pivot is the same as the force times the distance on the other side of the pivot. So we could be asked to carry out a calculation using these principles. And the kind of question we could get is the one given here. Calculate the force in your biceps if your forearm has a mass of 2.5 kilograms. And the diagram then has the rest of the information we need. So don't just ignore diagrams because quite often there will be additional information on them that's useful to you. The first thing we need to do here is to calculate the weight because all we've got is mass at this point. So weight is mass times gravitational field strength. We're on Earth, so it's going to be times 10. The mass we've got in our question there is 2.5. So 2.5 times 10 gives us 25 newtons as our weight first of all. Next thing to do is we need to calculate the distances from the pivots to the clockwise and the anti-clockwise force. So we look at our diagram and we can see that they've got two values marked on there. Then think logically which is clockwise, which is anti-clockwise. And of course, notice the fact it's in centimetres. So we've got to convert those centimetres into metres by dividing by 100. So the distance from the pivot to the clockwise force is 0.16 and the distance from the pivot to the anti-clockwise force is 0.04. Last thing we need to do is to calculate the moments. So we calculate our clockwise moment first of all, which is 25, which was our weight, times by our distance 0.16, gives us four Newton meters. And then remember the anti-clockwise moment is the same. So it's got to equal four Newton meters. And that's again, force times distance. We know the distance is 0.04, so therefore, the force is 4 divided by 0.04, which is 100 newtons. Hopefully, at the end of this video, you can describe examples in which forces cause rotation, and you can define and calculate the moment of a force.